Wednesday. This morning we have Instagram sensation Noah Neiman here. He is a celebrity trainer who is ripped and helps stars like Katie Holmes, Jake Gyllenhaal, Adriana Lima, and now he's sharing his best moves to get you in shape. Hi, Noah. Hi. Thank I know, you so much for having me out. I'm so thrilled to have you. And you're going to start by teaching this. What is this move called? That these so guys this are doing? is just a standard lunge. This is one of those basic movement patterns of our body that's really beneficial, so people can get really good at this. Works your legs, works your core. And right in the middle, Ginger Z has not yeah. stopped all morning no. long. Jeez. You guys can keep it sweaty. We have this uh, going all morning long. Absurd. I want to ask you to show us yeah. on TV. Give us another move. This one you so, say it's called something jack. So this is a boxer jack. So it's a play off of the old school jumping jack. Right. It's going to help us warm up our hip flexors because a lot of times we have tension in our hips. Yep. It gives us lower back pain, knee pain. So let's go for those boxer ba jacks. You how ready? About a boxer jack. So can we go for those boxer jacks right here? Okay. Right so here. at home. So this yes. is the boxer jack. This is the what boxer is jack. So right here, we're trying to get those hip flexors warmed yes. up. We're trying to raise our core temperature, get us ready to do some more intensive workouts. Yes, I'm raised. hurt, so I'm letting so, Ginger do it for me. Ginger, how are we doing? I feel so like my you, temperature has certainly raised. I see you You're sweating <laughs> and, over and here. It is about core. Right? It's about core, but again, it's about just getting your body limber and okay. uh, ready to work out. If you need that modification, then you can't jump. A lot of our just viewers are yeah. asking you just to bring wear that the knee lesser up. version. So there's no jumping. there's normally a regression. Don't jump. Just get that knee as high as you can and touch right under. That's it. What would you say makes your workout different? It's not about it's not about being different. It's about like, I, I like to go back to the basics. I think that we get so caught up in the hype nowadays of trying to find this new workout method that's going to get us fit quick. Right. Again, it's about being really good at the basics. It's about being a master of those basic movements, and I know you're going to get stronger from right. that. So it's almost like a paleo workout. We talk about paleo. Yep. This is a regression. This is all right. Let's get really good at moving our body again, yep. and I know we're going to get stronger without the hype. Okay. So what is this that Ginger is now doing? So right now we're doing the squat. Uh, we're doing the okay. combat. Again, I can't do this. I, I, have, a, I have a bum. So if you have a bum hip, so, this is the yes. full version. You're gonna squat. You're gonna hit those what four if I punches. Don't squat and if I you just... don't squat, if you have a, a bad I lower do. back. Don't take it as low. You can hit those four punches and bring it up as high as you can. Again, work within your range of motion. Work within your body's limitation. And are we squeezing the core yeah. at all times? Because Ginger, you look like you're really yeah. working your core. The most important yeah, thing right. about any movement is really keeping your back protected, <laughs> keeping what's called your spinal integrity in check. Okay. So yeah. we want to keep our core engaged. We don't want to get group. lax. We want to keep a lot of tension in our body when we work out, when okay, we lift so weights, or when we do these home, calisthenics. The, give us those three moves that you say can really make a difference. So even we you did, do it one day a week. Yeah, so we did the we did the squat jacks. You can do those for a couple uh, 30 second sets. 30 second, 30 sets. second How sets. Many sets. So we're gonna do this whole thing uh, about three to four sets. Okay. So just to, again for beginners, as you start to progress, so you can do jacks. it more. So 30 seconds of those jacks, then 30 seconds of those squats uh -huh. with the rotation. Ooh. We're going 30 seconds right here, those combat squats. Yep. Then the last move, this is a boot camp classic. It's okay. how we do burpees in here. So we're going to show them the combat burpees. I'll show you the you regression. You seem way too happy about this. I she is a burpee burp fiend. A she burpee. loves them. <laughs> so the burpees are a great, great way to hit our body from head to toe. Yep. Again, efficiency, but they're very practical. So I'll show you the regression. Don't get caught up in the hype yet, just yet. So we're going to throw four punches. We're going to hit one push-up, and we're going to jump up. So I'll do it full time and then I'll slow it down okay. for you guys who four might punches. need a little modification. So we're going to kick one, one two, two, three, four, four down. bring it down, hit that push up, and then, then jump up. Okay, I'm Modified like flinging version. sweat all over. That's so right. if Modified. you need that modification yeah. again, really take it a little bit slower, get that punch form, take it low, <laughs> step your and feet back. And then take a nap. You can step your feet back into that plank position. You can either go down to your knees for the push up or forego the push up if your upper body's not there yet. Okay. You can then step it forward, making sure you're standing up with your legs, not your lower back, and reach up. That's great. That's so again, great. Take that I love regression it. if you need it. Two different layers for two different styles. No reason that we can't all get moving. Ginger Z? Yes. Good workout? It's such a good workout. Anytime you do a burpee, you're going to sweat immediately. Okay. So I feel like you got it there.